I'm sure most people watching this have been in this terrible position before. Big assignment, impending deadline, procrastination. It's a sorry state to be in. What you're probably not familiar with though is an artificial intelligence capable of successfully completing your assignment for you. But that's where GPT-3 comes into it. GPT-3 or Generative Pre-Trained Transformer 3 is a text engine that creates output from your input. Now, without getting into the mechanics of how it all works, what you need to know is that GPT-3 breaks down your input into smaller components called tokens, and then uses these to calculate probabilities of what should come next. It can do quite a lot, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna focus on its ability to help you with your homework, particularly with writing essays. So I Googled some basic prompts. For our example, we're gonna use the prompt is technology a blessing or a curse? Now there are a few ways that I can use GPT-3 to help with getting started on this essay. Firstly, I could just literally put the entire prompt in. Now, whilst not providing an entire essay, if we analyze the text, we can see that there are some pretty decent talking points that it's come up with. For example, the technology has made it easier to communicate and easier to do work. And it also mentioned isolation and our over-reliance on machines. Another way to use GPT-3 would be to break the prompt down into sections. So here, I've asked it, why is technology a blessing? And then I asked, why is technology a curse? Again, it's obviously not a full essay, but it has provided some really decent points to help structure the rest of my writing. Now, the last thing I could do is literally ask GPT-3 to structure my entire essay. As you can see, it's actually done a pretty brilliant job of outlining one way of doing this. We've got an introduction, body paragraphs, a conclusion. We can also refresh or reword our input to get variations of the output, which can help us to look at things a little bit differently if we need it. Now look, if you're anything like me, I always find starting an essay to be the hardest part. You get a prompt or a topic and you just have no idea where to go with it. You may not have actually read the text or watched the lectures, so yeah, getting started can be pretty bloody hard. What GPT-3 can help with is giving you the initial momentum to get the ball rolling. If we look at our examples and kind of read between the lines, we can see that GPT-3 has given us some pretty good avenues to explore. All of these are now brilliant talking points that you can flesh out yourself. Or if you really wanted to, you could probably get GPT-3 to flesh them out for you. What I'm saying is initially where we may have been lost, GPT-3 has given us some direction of how to handle this essay. It's essentially done much of the initial heavy lifting and then put us in a position to do our own research using GPT-3's output as our guiding compass. If used correctly, I believe that GPT-3 can help cut off heaps of hours of procrastination purely because it gets rid of that discomfort of not knowing how to start in the first place. But to be fair, technology as a blessing or a curse is a pretty easy prompt. I mean, we could all probably rattle off a few pros and cons without really having to do much thinking. So let's try something a little bit harder, a topic that I have no idea about, I've never studied, I have no prior knowledge of, medical imaging technology. Our prompt is going to be examine the history of medical imaging technology and how it may improve in the next decade. So I chucked that into GPT-3 and as you can see, it's given me a very basic structure for this essay and given me a few pointers of where to direct my further research. But I'm lazy, I haven't read the text, I haven't watched the lectures and I want GPT-3 to do more. So I asked, what are the key moments in the history of medical imaging technology? And there you go, as you can see, an entire list Looks pretty good to me. Of course, I would probably fact check this myself just to be sure. But the point is, if I didn't have GPT-3, I would just be Googling randomly and not really having any idea what I needed to search for. Now, with no prior knowledge of the topic, I've got a list of things that I can look into to help making writing this essay easier. I know that otherwise I would just be jumping between Facebook and YouTube and before I knew it, four hours would be gone and I would have had absolutely nothing done. GPT-3, without a doubt, is very, very impressive. In the future, as it improves, I definitely see it being able to write full-length essays and do so far better than humans. I will make another video where I explore GPT-3 in its entirety, including the ethics behind it. But for this video, I just wanted to demonstrate how it could help you with your homework or assignments, particularly with writing essays. Now, before I finish, I do have a public service announcement. I am not encouraging anyone to use GPT-3 to cheat or plagiarize or do anything that may be considered dodgy. If you do that, 
it is on you. GPT-3, if used correctly and in accordance with your school or university's academic policies, could be an amazingly useful tool to help you with writing essays and other assignments. But again, the responsibility to use it correctly and with integrity is on you. So if you get in trouble, you didn't hear it from me. Okay, jokes aside, please use it appropriately. And with that being said, I hope that you found this video useful. I hope it helps you all with your studies or your assignments or whatever other endeavors you guys undertake. All right, I gotta go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.